friends, Miss Megan from the Children's Museum of the Low Country in downtown Charleston, South Carolina. Um, I am coming to you from my kitchen, but I had a really cool, simple science experiment that I wanted to share with you. And this one won't take very long at all. What's cool is this only needs a couple things. You're gonna need some sort of white um, surface, probably a plate, mine's a white square plate. Um, round paper plate, anything that's white because you're gonna wanna see what happens with our colors today, all right? And I also have some colorful candies and some good old fashioned water, okay? Now, <clears throat> what you're gonna do and part in the angle that we're at because I want you to see what's happening on my plate once the science experiment gets started. So you're gonna dump out some of these colorful candies on your plate. And this would be a good opportunity to sort. You could sort by color. You could put all the blues together. You could put all the greens together. Blue, green. This would be a good opportunity to make a pattern. Red, oops, let's do it so you can see. Red, I'm sorry. Blue, red, blue, red. You could make a pattern. All sorts of different things you could do with the colors. What you're gonna do is you wanna dump out enough to make a border or an outline of your white surface. So if you wanted to do a pattern, you could do that. If you wanted to sort, you could do that. Or if you just kinda wanna make a random coloring, that's okay too. And what you're gonna do is you wanna make one line on the outside of your plate. And again, I apologize, I'm getting cut off a little bit, but I want you to be able to see the plate and what's happening here. I'm gonna slide this back a little bit. And as you can see, I did the outside of my plate. One line, put those few extra off. And if we just happen to have too many sweets around the house, this is a good way to use them without eating them. So again, as you can see, I kind of just went around the outside, all right? Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your water, and if you have some small friends, if we want to use um, a straw, you can use your straw and kind of get drops of water that go around the outside. Okay. It's gonna, this part's going to be kind of hard for you to see. All right. Our bigger friends, if you're able, you can put your water in kind of a, um, something with a lip, and what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to pour some of the water on the outside edge of your M&M's. Okay, all right, and then the other edge. Okay, and then this other edge, be backhanded, I guess. Okay, and this last edge. All right, and you might be starting to see something's kind of happening on my plate. This would be a cool time to kind of maybe talk about color mixing. So Miss Megan's favorite color is green. But if I didn't have a green, I could use a blue and a yellow. Because I know when you mix blue and yellow, you get green. There's another cool color called orange. Orange, like on doodash, he's a secondary color. He comes from mixing red and yellow to get orange. Another color is purple. Is anybody's favorite color purple out there? Well, if you don't have purple, you can mix red and blue and you get purple. That's color mixing. That's the introduction of primary colors, which are blue, yellow, and red. And when they mix together, they make other colors. And the secondary colors are green, orange, and purple. So while we were talking, something cool started to happen on our tray. It's gonna be kind of hard for you to see right now, but when you get the opportunity to do this at home, you're gonna see something really cool. What's happening? What do you see? See the colors mixing? Can you start to see down here? All right. And these colors are starting to break down a little bit. And that's called chromatography. That's when you're starting to break 
the different colors out based on the color that they used to make them. Now, can you start to see it? I don't want to mix with my plate off because the colors will mix. So I'm going to try to do is carefully slide a different one over. Okay, I'm going to slide that one up. And this is one I just did a little, just a few, 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 few seconds ago. Can you see all those beautiful colors on my plate? What's happening is the water dissolved the pigment on the outside and it started to make these beautiful, beautiful colors. And that's just a super simple fun activity you can do in the kitchen. It's called candy chromatography. We would love to see what colors you come up with. So please share with us at hashtag CHSplays. We'd love to see your creations. Thanks for doing color, color chromatography with candy with me. Miss Megan misses you. I hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe, keep playing, and we'll see you soon. Bye.